photograph in which we were in love, caught in your eyes, waiting for the sunrise. I barely even knew who you were. What did you do? I didn't care, 'cause you were perfect. I swear. But somebody told me that it's over. I know. Afternoon. First of January, first hike of the new year. Um, as you can see, there's quite a lot of people out here. Um, so we keep our distance the best we can. And we are at Steelhouse Hollow Falls in Mount Pleasant, Tennessee. going to be very wet um, we've had some rain all night um, so but it's a beautiful sunny 70 degree day so we got to take advantage of it everything's unfolding as it should and I would be more grateful if I could an image in my mind Then I can't complain about what I find Maybe I want to be taller Maybe I want to be richer But I guess when all is said and done I'm pretty happy with this picture Cause everything's unfolding as it should I would be more grateful if I could. To get down to the falls, we walk pretty much downhill um, for a mile. And then you see the falls, and then you turn around and walk out. It's really pretty. Um, I'll show you some more. People come. Across the creek on the bridge and we'll start heading in the other direction. We'll walk around that. This is one I like to do toward the beginning of the year when it's nice out, um, especially after a big rain because of the waterfall. Hoping that the water is flowing very well up there. Creek looks to be going pretty good. Oh, and the sounds of the water is just so beautiful. see the falls it looks like it's flowing pretty well we walk around here go up and down and around and we'll be down there give you a little sneak peek all right we're walking alongside the creek we went up a little bit and then back down to the bottom here and we're going to cross over, go around. Um, there's a cute little old chimney back here from the remains that used to be a house. It's pretty neat.
white blazes, just like on the AT. I always love that. We can pretend a little bit. On the way back out, I may walk that way a little bit. Um, I don't know what's back there or how far back it goes, but we might try that and see if we can add a little bit of mileage to the day. <laughs> All right, I'll show you the chimney remains when we get to it. All right, you can hear the falls. It's just right up there. But before we get there, let me show you the chimney. Right here would have been the front porch where you stepped in. There's the chimney. I just truly love hearing that sound. We're going to head back out, let these people have their fun. I've been here multiple times, so uh, when we get to that junction uh, that we're going to explore, I'll show it to you. Coming up on that junction, the trail goes off to the left, where that bridge was. We know this because when we get to this tree, there's two blazes. And the one here is the trail marker. And the one here is telling us which way the trail turns. Uh, we are going to go this way a little bit. And actually, I guess some other people had that idea because there's some people coming. So we'll talk. I'd ask those that I walked by um, what was back here. And they said it's a creek and railroad tracks, which there they are. Um, there's a barn down here, or at least I think it is, um, but it looks like it's sitting on the railroad track, so it may be a railroad station. Um, I know this is an active train uh, railroad, so I'm not sure if I'm going to try to walk over to them or not. Um, we'll see. We kind of need to see that building, though. If we do, we'll probably walk a little ways back up the trail and through the woods to the tracks so we're not just walking along the tracks the whole way. Whoop. 
feet. Glad it is warm. Right. Wow, that's a low bridge. But here we are. Looks like a little look like a tree fell here, caused a little dam. We can't walk over there, it's private property. Nice little site to come. Well, it was a barn on the other side of the tree of the railroad tracks. So it was over on that private property. Uh, so we did not get to walk over there, but that's okay. Whew. A little out of breath from weed whacking. Oh. Just soaking up the sun. It is so beautiful. This way to take us back to the car. A couple of tents. Um, I never actually paid any attention to see what this was. It says Ridge Loop. And then up here it says To Falls. And if you look on the little sign, I don't know if you can read it or not, it says skinny dip. We're not going to do that. I mean, it's winter after all. But we are going to take the ridge trail and just see where it takes us. I don't know how long it is. Um, probably not too much further. I'm sure it's just walking around the ridge up to the park. But we're going to check it out. I'll look it up later to see what the length of everything would be. I'm thinking it's probably going to end up being around three miles total. We'll see. Alright, if I see anything interesting, I'll show you. I walked around the corner and I realized what this is going to do. It's going to take us to the top of the hill. Like I said, we don't have mountains here in Middle Tennessee. Uh, but, let's see, Ash. So we're here. And we're going to go up there. And then it's going to circle around. And we'll end up at the top of the falls, I'm thinking. Um, cause I did see that there was a pathway that would go to the top of the falls. Good to get out and explore and find something new.
All right, here's a little sign. It says Overlook Bench and Ridge Trail. So I guess I was correct. First thing, you keep going to the left and you'll continue on the Ridge Trail. You go to the right and it's an Overlook. We're gonna go to the right and see the Overlook. Uh, if it's anything to look at, I'll show it to you. That's the highway that we came in on to get here. That's the bridge going over. This is the highest point on this ridge line. trail continues to go down. Um, I believe that is where it goes down to the pool area. Um, it is very steep um, and I do not have my trucking poles so we are not going to do that today. I will keep that in mind for next time. Like I said, I didn't even know that it was there. But for now, we will head back out, continue down the ridge trail until we get done. Penhody is what we are going to be starting to hike in just a few days and it has blue blazes and lo and behold the ridge trail that I'm walking on has blue blazes. I thought that was pretty cool considering that the other trail was white blazes like the Appalachian which is you know the trail that I call my heart. So to have both of them in my lead up hike to a trip Pretty cool. It's really beautiful up here. It's just all woods. Everyone was on that hike down to the waterfall. I think I probably saw 30 people. And not a single soul up here. It's amazing. Time in nature is just something that we all need. And that is why I do a January 1st hike every year. I think I have done that now for the past five years. And I believe that is something that I will continue to do for as long as I possibly can, for sure. Looks like we are getting to the top. Um, so I imagine it'll start circling around at that point, but we'll see. All right, so I was correct. It took you a little bit further down the trail, um, before the parking area. I'm not sure if you remember at the beginning when I showed you this bridge and the little walkway. Yeah, there we are. 